Good love and good light illuminators. This is Wendy with Languages of Lights. Happy 1111 full pink moon portal. It is turning 1111 p.m. Central Standard Time USA right now as we speak. And I was just <laughs> guided to grab my cards and pull us a little card. <laughs> Today's yellow day, so I'm in yellow. Um, I'm really tired. I've been packing and cleaning and stuff all day since I got up. Oh, I'm just uh, just now taking a breather <laughs> and thought I'd bring us a little 1111 energy on this full moon. So. Whew. Let's call in the Aquarian fire in this full moon, age of Aquarius, to be with us in this now and every now, throughout us, around us, in us, as we carry this holy fire spirit with us in this age of Aquarius. And as the ebbs and flows of the full moons and the new moons create a continuous cycle of beginnings and endings and ebbs and flows, let us be reminded that every moment is a new moment. So what message do our spirits guides have for us today? <laughs> Sorry, I just ate some of my mom's delicious homemade chocolates that she made for me. So I was making sure I didn't have any in my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> And I think I might, so that's okay. Just forgive me. <laughs> I really needed chocolate after today. So this yellow energy, oh, even the inside of the box of the Native Spirit deck is yellow. My room is yellow. It's a beautiful full moon solar plexus energy. I'm looking at a yellow square, some yellow squares on my quilt down here. <laughs> So I was just feeling that full moon brightness today, that full moon um, bright yellow energy as it as the sun reflects off the moon and gives us our balance of night and day and tides of ebb and flow. So I ask the nature spirits and the native spirits to be one with us today as they always are. And let us be, invite them into our awareness in this now and see what beautiful messages they have to bring us in this 1111 portal of new beginnings. Wow. Answering the call. Well, that couldn't be more beautiful. And we have a rainbow and sunlight and water and these beautiful stones and mountains truly representing the full prism of all that we are and the earth, the air, the fire, the water, all the elements. And it truly is in this full moon and this age of Aquarius, it's time to answer the call. This couldn't be a better card for today for opening our solar plexus chakra and answering the call to our own creativity, our own inner sun. So I invite you all to
envelop yourself in this yellow energy of sunlight and moonlight and <laughs> I don't know, the color of a smile. <laughs> I don't know, I guess when we see smiley faces, right, we see yellow. So I think of yellow as the color of a, a celestial smile, the smile from the sun. So let's see what answering the call. <clears throat> the card meaning, you've been called. If you've been waiting for your life to shift, the waiting is over. And that's exactly what I've been feeling today, this huge shift that the waiting is over. Your true and authentic life is happening. And I was just thinking about lemons. <laughs> I guess I, I don't know, I've had a really strong lemon energy today too with this yellow. So I was just thinking about lemons. So I've been in love with lemons for all my life and really recently have found even more virtues of lemons. So your true and authentic life is happening. If you've been hoping for a sign, this is it. Right now, your spirit guides, ancestors, and loved ones who have passed on are sending you messages, love, and healing. You've been called, and a gateway is opening for communications from these spiritual realms. And that's exactly what I was feeling today. It was the 1111 gateway, the portal, the op the the gateway to the portal of understanding who, why, and what we are. Now and in the days ahead, signs from spirit will be all around you. Watch for them. Your native spirit wants you to know. Indigenous peoples looked to the clouds. And look at these beautiful clouds all the colors of the rainbow in the prism of light that are clouds because clouds are just water. Um, transformed water into vapor and they contain all the light, all the light prisms, all the colors. Um, they contain the moisture from the earth that has fallen to the earth. Indigenous peoples look to the clouds, the winds, and the movements of the animals to discern the secret messages from the Creator. In native traditions, life is ruled by signs. Right now, your spirit helpers are telling you that this is your time. The waiting is over. Sometimes we spend so much time waiting for life to happen that we miss the joy in the moment. Be present in your moments and don't miss the joy of the moment. Cherish the here and the now and know that no matter what concerns you may have, in the deepest sense, you are ready. Believe, follow the signs and miracles will abound. Your time is now. And I am reminded about cherishing the here and now and because really, whenever we are somewhere else in the yesterday or the tomorrow or the what ifs or the what ifs, the what could haves, the should haves, the I might haves, um, is a place of um, chaos. And it is only in the here and the now that we find this perfect balance of harmony. The journey, look for signs. They are all around you. The feather that alights at your feet, the penny that mysteriously appears, or the rainbow splashed across the sky. And I've been seeing a lot of rainbows and a lot of prisms lately. <clears throat> the feather that alights at your feet, the penny that mysteriously appears, or the rainbow splashed across the sky, may be a sign that spirit is trying to get your attention. Watch your dreams. Messages from spirit are often conveyed in the nocturnal hours. 
So I leave you now with this 1111 blessing to listen to your dreams. Ask to ask your guides to help you remember um, while you're in the dream to remember who you're with and what you're doing um, and to help you when you when you wake up in the morning remember your dreams because they truly are the multi-dimensional reality in which you truly do live. There is a reason why the symbol of one in one equals peace. For one in one is the portal. It is the first mirror of light, the first reflection of one to one, of the one wishing to see itself as you, as all creation. Yes, so don't show your room be here to say, so Nikki will look with him and where me and I can let's suppose so say, so me so 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 for me show me the kill and get a set or say, so not only so for me should be here to kill a land here so to so for she will like a later so me kill a later say, like we am a I love you. And we are one. I love you, dear ones. And thank you for allowing yourself to answer the call. Answer the call of your heart your sun, your solar plexus, the sun that shines within you. It's calling you to beam and be a prism. I love you.